there's a real amazing Englishness about his art, and I think that's what comes out straight away. And it's an Englishness that has real characteristics of English art, um, both in its sort of modesty and in a sort of spiritual quality, certainly in the landscapes, and also a humour that's certainly apparent in some of these works here, but there's a resonance and a, and a, and a real depth of, of serious meaning. He's fascinated by people and he's fascinated by, by that study of humanity, which I think is, is such a, a, an important um, subject matter for a lot of artists, and his sense of observation and his sense of, of self-portraiture in it is, is very charming. It's very unpompous and it's very ungrand. And the level of self-deprecating humor in it has an art in itself. My, my favorite picture of all is, 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 the, is the Oddingly Pig picture because it's, 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 a, it's an extraordinary work that, uh, that combines the, the spiritual qualities of, of, of his work. It's thorough. Um, domestic Englishness. Um, there's compromise, fault, and charm, and the, the behaviour of, of of a sort that we see in 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 England all the time, but we don't always comment on it. It's going to be. It, it's it's just a charming exhibition. It's a it's something that's truly English and it's caught the imagination of all the collectors already. Uh, we hope there's going to be a lot more collectors coming.